still getting our meat for the exciting day. So these little guys eat a lot. And That's it for that pile. We got two separate piles going. This one here is for this winter. And uh, I'm gonna start another one down here for, for next winter. I don't know how many cords I got. I probably got, I'd say five or six split here. I got, what do we got? Four rows. They're probably 25 feet long and uh, almost five feet tall. So I don't know how many cords that is, but it's quite a few. We have a small house, so it doesn't take us very much to uh, heat it all winter long. And then I got another pile down here. I'm just starting. And then I gotta stack this stuff here and and then finish our, finish our bought wood. It's the first time we've ever bought firewood. Normally, I would just go get it out of our woods but we only have like 18 acres and we've been burning that wood for five years now and we're, it's just gone. Whereas there's a little bit out there you can go nitpick at, but it's just not enough to make it worth the time. So anyways, we had to buy it, which kind of sucks, but ain't nothing we can do about it. I just don't have any more on the land. You can get permits and go um, on the county forest land in Douglas County here and, and you can get uh, firewood that way, but you can't use anything motorized like to drive into the woods with, so you gotta carry it by hand, which can be very, very hard work. So anyways, that's what we're up to today. So today I'm planting cucumbers. I've got pickling cucumbers and slicing cucumbers, two varieties. Well, I got that pile stacked up. 
almost two rows down here. So I'm to fire up the chainsaw, cut some links up and start splitting. Calling it a day for that, anyways. It's getting close to 80 degrees and it's very humid, and we got a lot of smoke in the air, too, from Canadian fires and stuff, so it's just time. It's time to call it a, call it a day on that. Anyways, peace out. No. No. Hey! Don't get that. Now you got it. Now I have to give it to you. Go ahead and get it. Dang it. Ooh, this one is a big one. It's pretty nice, hey? Mm. Ooh, look it. Ooh, I just got it. Grasshopper. Darn grasshoppers. Do you want the grasshopper? Here. You don't want that? There you go. Grasshopper. Oh, I found one that's been eaten. You guys go. Well, I think that's all of them for tonight.
go. Seven jars of jam. <laughs> okay, so we're heading to Liam's championship baseball game today. And then we're also getting our meat birds, so it's an exciting day. So we got our meat birds last night and got them home safely and we decided to actually put them inside the house in um, our old dog kennel and that seemed to work really well. And then we um, plugged in a little heater for them, one that only takes 40 watts, so that worked out well as well. And now we have them sitting out here for the daytime and they, they're seeming to be pretty happy in there and we'll bring them back in tonight and probably for the next couple of nights until we move them out to the chicken coop. So here they are. Watch out, little one. <laughs> Yes, so that's the heater, and they can just go right underneath it to keep warm, but they are warm enough during the day that they don't need it. Uh, but at night, they go under there, and they, they slept under there, so it worked out really good. Okay, so I'm going to lay a little straw down in here, and then close this off. I'm going to bring all the little chicks down in here because that little um, kennel is way too small for 25 little chicks. I just feel like they need a little bit more room to, to roam around. Plus, it's really hard for me to just keep cleaning that. So to make life easier on me, I'm going to move them down here during the day. And then at night, I'll bring them back in the house just for a few more nights, I think. All right, chickies, watch out. Okay, one at a time, one at a time. All right, let's go. There we go. They're kind of cute right now. Oh, oh boy, careful. Oh yeah. So these little guys eat a lot and drink a lot more than any other chicken I've ever seen. And so, um, yeah, we just, I don't, it's hard to keep up with this little thing. One left. Now, is that all of you? I'm gonna just carry this box down. <laughs> This is gonna be the first time you've ever seen grass. Oh, crazy, huh? Hopefully you guys like it. Man, you guys stink. We do not like to have these guys up by the house in the porch. They don't smell. already seems so much happier. I'm so glad he did that.
You know why, maybe? That's where their feathers start to grow the first, the f first, and then they actually turn out to be a white bird. They are so much better down in here, way happier, way better for everyone. So stay tuned for next week's video because we'll have this whole thing finished. They'll be able to go inside. We'll have the, the little hole cut out for them to come in and out. We'll have everything predator proofed and we'll have a gate on there. And yeah, but for now this, this will work. <laughs>